here in this area. That's why we must take the map and then unregulated telephone transit when the uh, many of data is lost. We must uh, simplify the logbook and then uh, distribution fishing effort. Special planning yeah. ini, ini for baru by stakeholder-nya for special planning part of our yeah. Yeah. special planning oh. 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 and this is and we basically have but uh, we have one more goal is to to add uh, the governance issue well goal number one is um, mapping to them sorry how long should it be or just ah, slightly uh, say 10 minutes oh. okay uh, well so we we have your tab selection DAE uh, management and then the last one is the governance. Uh, we, uh, the existing Arafura Fishery Management Plan, there were uh, three goals of the action plan in the Arafura Fisheries Management. Some of the goals, then we, we select some of those, which is uh, closely related to the project, and RAPIC is expected to be able to contribute uh, achieving the, the goal of the uh, Arafra Fisheries Management Plan for area, uh, we, we have uh, we assume that coral reef, mangrove, seagrass are critical areas, and also uh, some habitat of part of their uh, historical life. So nursery ground, spawning ground uh, of the target species, we we want to avoid that. Uh, almost it's mostly done workshop shop to first identify the the parameters and its indicator for the data and then uh, there will be a simplified methodology and then there will be another meeting to evaluate the collected data quite the same for the whole uh, strategies then the so, uh, support some action plans of the existing Arab Fisheries Management is linked to those action plan. In zero type selection, avoid the bycatch. But if it is unavoidable, then we the second step is how we could reduce those bycatch by 
doing some uh, technical modification on the fishing gears. Previously mentioned that all the approach is using the participatory approach. So we. I just have one question which will have some implications for the budget uh, and for the work in the future and obviously for the uh, LOA. And this is concerning uh, uh, how, how you plan to do the gear trials. Will it, will it be through a uh, national boat or a government uh, research vessel or through uh, the number of vessels and how you intend to sort of um, spread that uh, the practices or the, the, what you learned during the gear trials to the others. Uh, well, the, the mechanism that we would like to uh, build is actually uh, encourage stakeholders' participation. So, we don't even uh, want to conduct an independent research by, uh, by any institute in Indonesia. Well, they, they, they might do the research in terms of their, their core business, but we would like to collect the information from, from the fishermen themselves, what practices they have so far uh, experience, and then what lesson learned we can, uh, we can use. So we, we, we would only adopt the existing practices with some modification. Research is too many indicators. Uh, sometimes uh, result of from uh, research or research center uh, stakeholder didn't want to follow them. That's why uh, we must uh, to create a new approach how the stakeholder can contribute for uh, what they can understand. Can we go to the last goal, the good governance goal? And it's interesting that if add AFM sneaking in there on, on this day. Um, your strategy, <coughs> develop participatory mechanisms for the management of tool fisheries management in Arafura. Information and new management measures, yes. Perhaps you hadn't quite finished, but this is what the EAFM training course does. This is exactly what EAF, essential EAFM does. You, can, you could actually add an activity there, training in EAFM for stakeholders or for fisheries officers. And we could work out how this could be supported through CFDEX uh, training and perhaps technical inputs into this. Because this is exactly what the EAFM does. It's unfortunate that neither Imran or, or uh, Enviona could come uh, to the EAFM training. But if you had, I think you would have seen how, how well this fits. Uh. Yeah. Look like not, not we cautionary approach, but we, we need caution to step into the what we call uh, promote by catch utilization to use surumi and fish memo. If we cannot promote it, the control, it will be generate need of fish memo and material for surumi. And then it will mobilize fishing to side coin, maybe. So that I, I wish you to to reconsider the necessary and loss and benefit of this uh, First requirement. The the first requirement uh, goal number one. This is uh, step by step. The goal number three. This is the last action. The last action. If. We still catch the bycatch from the international guideline. Minimize discards from the international guideline FAO. From the uptake, we must balance human consumption and for animal <coughs> consumption. This is the last choice. Uh, maybe on this project we are focused on, on the three items. All of our members in local local working group. They have a uh, training about their products. And implement uh, shown fishery management plan based on ecosystem approach in the, in the province level. Uh, to do that, we are going to 
provide the capacity building uh, for the provincial agency, uh, give it to uh, local authority. And we are going to establish a steering committee at the uh, provincial level to coordinate the development of the provincial short fishery management plan for authority, the private sector, as well as uh, all relevant stakeholders to in, in the development process of the management plan. And then we are going to drop the plan and develop the first uh, to develop and implement the management plan in the Kirtan province and uh, data to evaluate uh, the, the, the plan. We also consolidate and combine a valuable material. For example, we uh, learned from the African guideline and some uh, selectivity uh, trial. We will go in to provide this uh, material to uh, stakeholder uh, on the fishery management. And finally, we are going to conduct the monitoring and evaluation uh, test. In terms of the sustainability for fishery resources management goal, well, to 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 uh, to develop the the local short fishery management culture. So we will support for them to to have some meeting at the the local level. So that is for our activity so far. May, may I may I just first put the observation, to, especially the black box here. Um, you you do this. Why you do this? This list. Why you do it? We are missing some uh, strategy. So can you put now? What is the strategy you want to achieve? Yeah. Just put now. Yeah. So we can fill in the box. What what would be the strategy? <laughs> what is the strategy would lead to this one? So what what is the key? Maybe we like define the strategy about the facilitate. The lesson learned, it will let Okay, so before the end, is that the strategy is to consolidate the then lesson learned from the previous so that this yes. would be actually. So that's why. No, I, I would like to have uh, a question and, and some additional. You, you're talking about sustainable livelihood for local for fishery community. So, what I mentioned yesterday, they are small scale trawl fishery. Uh, Large scale, like commercial scale. What what you mean livelihood for the the trawler owner? It means for a small scale. Or you mean the the crews on on the commercial vessel livelihood? Or identification of the direct beneficiaries of what you are doing is very important. So we have to uh, keep a, not not today, but the later step. So very good point. Uh, item number go to and strategy to the mapping and ideology way. I saw the same <coughs> same activity or alignment of activity between uh, Vietnam and Indonesia. Uh, I cannot remember exactly. We go to have a two. Okay, I agree with you. I will make adjustment. However, written to the alternative livelihoods. Okay. Because as I mentioned that uh, now we formulate the action but under the project uh, document framework and Rick uh, knows very well that we don't have the, 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 the um, human beings component uh, under the project component. Uh, this is a reason why we try very much in order to have uh, some intervention uh, from the activity to make contribution to the human well-being under the EAFM. Go about it is we wanted to collaborate more effectively on a regular basis with the industry uh, stakeholders, uh, the fishing industry, uh, troll uh, industry. 
uh, one way of doing it is we thought it would be better to have regular consultative process with them uh, and also collect their views, you know, get the contribution for put it into the control uh, management plan we have in place and, and then uh, they should sort of uh, revise the management plan to, to uh, uh, capture their views uh, and then also uh, in terms of us implementing uh, bycatch reduction measures such as uh, BRD and others, uh, it will be more easy to go ahead and trial, uh, get the industry people to trial and uh, implement. Uh, with the second strategy, effective networking among national stakeholders for implementation at the national level in the region, uh, specifically Australia, because Australia uh, industry is uh, well managed in terms of implementation of uh, BRDs and also marketing of their products to the world. They're going ahead. Uh, we do have uh, uh, you know, initial negotiation with them in terms of how we can learn from their experience and build on that. So we put down here that we can you know, probably agreements we have with other countries such as Japan uh, to diversify or, you know, very add our product. Just have a transparency in making decisions. Uh, with that, we hope to have a, a wider and increased consultative process with the industry players, with the fishing industry. Uh, yes. And, you know, by way of Regular. Please uh, put up the first uh, goal. I know that you have talked about this. The thing is, I think this goal should read effective and efficient management of troll fisheries bycatch and discards. I think that's what you meant. And not the effective and e efficient troll fisheries management. Because we're talking about the management of trout fisheries bycatch and discards, no? Yeah. yeah? Okay. I just uh, make one observation for the goal two and goal three. The goal two, you talking about the support of the industry stakeholders. In in this case, it means the trout fishery vessel owner, right? Something. But when come to the goal three. You are talking about the consultative process with the industry and the stakeholders. So for the transparency, what what you mentioned. So this is the stakeholder is may may not mean only the trawl vessel owner, right? It may concern with all the that involved or effect by the trawler. Right? Whether you, you may not get the MSC, but the, the core question of the stakeholder consultation is not just the consultee to, to tell them about the project, but it's to tell them about the possibility for the MSC and how it benefits to, to, uh, to the industry if they were to get that certification. So uh, I'm just looking at all that you put there, but from a different angle. It can be the vision of the the national national program in order to reach the international accept standard. The vision. In order to reach that vision, then you are doing the green one and break down into a certain activity. Now you can see the 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 link between the national and global, but also the national, if it is big enough, a long term enough, it is, that can be your vision. Because the MSC certification, you need a step-by-step -step process to reach that point. So this may take five years, eight years, ten years, from the latter. So that can be the vision, for example. The MSC, um, to address M MSC certification, it um, covers the whole, um, the whole, uh, that we are talking about now, it involves um, 
uh, the key, key points that uh, we are discussing because MBC is an um, international body that. Um, and we have uh, uh, a number of strategies to uh, attain this goal. The local government units and stakeholders and uh, what are the, uh, the activities that we uh, think it's important to, to, uh, uh, to do this. Nationalist working groups. This is working groups are representatives of the LGUs in stakeholders. So uh, engaging them in a working group can uh, easily, uh, can effectively engage them in whatever you are doing. Uh, the working group